Hiya. So, oh, I've got a parcel. I have done one of these for a while. Um, I ordered this on Friday and then spent all of Saturday grumping because it was a Prime, Amazon Prime item that we don't get Prime items on a Saturday here where I live because, you know, it's pants. So it's just arrived and I thought I'm going to open it here on um, video for you and I'm going to review it. Right, and I will explain why I bought this in a minute. Now, look, it's got cats on it. Oh, it's quite big. It's not too big, actually. It's not too big. Right, I am on a perpetual hunt for a decent pen case. Okay. I've got um, 50 to 60 Tombows, I've got a set of Papermate flares, I have got all of my ink joy pens, I have got um, my Pit Artist pens, um, what else have I got, I've got uh, some Tombow writing pens, I've also got this huge set which I must admit I'm, I'm really reluctant to take out of this case because it fits so nicely. And this case actually fits in the box where I keep my tarot cards. So I'm sort of like, mm, I don't know whether I am going to move that lot out yet or not. But I've got loads of pens and then I've got all my final pens. Now, I would like more than one case. But every case that I buy is huge. Okay, and it's, it's, a, it's a strain. I had this beautiful one that had all of my pencils in. Um, I actually did a live video when I opened that. And it was a gorgeous case, but it was huge. It was huge and it had all of my polychromos and Prismacolors in. I've since given the case and all of the pencils to my daughter. She she thought Christmas had come early. Uh, she was. I just said to her one afternoon, I was like, I came online and I went, Callie, are you here? And she said, yeah. And I said, I need you to come up. And she's like, why? I said, no, no, I need you to come to my house right now. And she walked in the door and I just pulled it out and gave her this. And her look on her face was priceless. It was great. So I am always on the hunt for a decent pen case. I ordered this one because the dimensions were about that of an A4 piece of paper. And it's not too thick. But it apparently holds, was that 196 or something, pencils. So yeah, and it's covered a fantastic Ziploc bag, which I will keep for something else. It feels quite nice. It feels quite nice. So this is a U Shares pencil case. Okay. So where are the zippies? It's one one tag per zip, not two, which is great because I always lose those. There is a net pocket here on this first page. And then it's got these nice wide so oh and there's pockets behind them i assume the other pocket oh there's a zip pocket on the back as well that's cool this would make if i wanted to travel with my brooder yeah this is a mirror image of the first one if i wanted to travel with my journal this would be ideal to carry all my pens in i don't know if i would be able to carry my my watercolors live in here at the moment i suppose i could literally just stick it in the middle if it can or stick it in that zip case in the back or in this case in the front so i would be able to take my water cars out of that as well which is pretty damn cool so i need to fill this baby up so what i'm gonna do i don't i don't know how to do it i don't know in which order to do it so let's find out to begin with because I like to put my pens in order, right? Of course, I know this is really, you're gonna think I'm mad. And this is sort of like anal of me, but the pens go in order of my family, right? So black is general, yeah. Purple is me. Orange is my eldest. Blue is my second eldest. Pink is my daughter, because she was third. Um, oh, where's the, Alex? Yeah. That one is a sort of dark, really dark, dark blue. Um, because I wouldn't let him have black or purple for my third son. And then teal is for little Daryl. Green is my mum, because it's my mum's favourite colour. And red is for my pets. Now, these are 
slightly rubbery in feeling. Now I wanted something where I could easily slot in and out. I didn't want to have to struggle too much with elastic. Now I need to move my mouse so I don't actually inadvertently cut you off. So let's see. So I'm just trying to think the best way to do this. I reckon I could probably get two of each one in here, in each. Oh, um, this was, by the way, I've got two items arriving from Amazon today that I ordered at the same time. One's come via our regular postal service and the other's coming via courier. How dumb is that? And the other thing that I ordered is a fucking mouse for my, I used to have, I've got a Mac in the other room. It's a really old Mac mini. And the trackpad for it was shit. I threw it away in temper last week. So I've ordered a very basic mouse for it. And I ordered that and and the, the yeah, and they're coming five different careers. How should you do that? So 192 slots this is. And the reason I bought it was because the picture, it looked really good, you know? So yeah, they haven't put extra things in these pockets. I guess it's just to tuck the ends of the pens in, you know? Yes, I know my package was delivered. I'm playing with it now. So yeah, um, just so you know, this was crikey. I didn't pay £21.95 for that. I didn't pay £21 for it. I paid a lot less than that. I can't remember now, but I didn't pay 20 Where is it where I can find out how much I paid? That's gone up. I know I did get, um, yeah, see, I, I paid about £17. There is a blue version, which I nearly bought as well, but I quite liked the um, the multicoloured. So that's the that's the blue version. Sorry, it's not. There you go. It's a sort of, it, the, there are dots in the middle of these cat's eyes. They don't look as mad as that. So yeah, there was a blue version that I nearly got as well. But this one, I think, only cost me about £18. You need to hunt about on Amazon to find it. Okay, so then I've got my pen for Daryl, my pen for my mum, my pen for my pets, because I colour code, you see. Um, I will link my colour coding video up in the top hand corner. Then I do, um, magenta is for finances, brown is for Fitbit, blue is for youtube and i am so bummed that they don't all fit across there and then this green this pale green is right there is there is like a double pocket here you've got the pocket that the pens tuck into and then there is a net pocket on the front that goes all the way across there is a seam down the middle on these pockets okay so yes this is for um the big house as i call it um i own a house where i rent rooms out of it um and that's for everything to do there and yellow is tv um anything else really that doesn't fall under any of the other categories so that is those pens awesome i think i'm gonna put my paper make flares in next and i might put them on another page because what i'm thinking is there are more of these pens available and i'm really really hoping that um i might i i, I need to send some money to jolene to get her to send me a pack because i can't get them here i like the fine ones in the 0.5s um and i yeah i just can't get them here so i'm gonna talk to jolene i think so let's do the paper make flares then and i want some more of these as well because <laughs> these are so much fun to use it's a little bit stiffer on the middle section than it is on the cover section and again i think it's going to be two pens per elastic i could possibly fit three if i didn't mind squeezing but you know that's kind of like no yeah i could fit three so yes you can fit three could I fit three in there? Mm, possibly, but they're slightly thicker pens. And I don't think I'd want to because I want to be able to slide those pens in and out that little bit more easily. And there you go. And yet something else I've ordered. 
paper. I ordered a ream of paper because Daryl's getting really into drawing. So I just ordered a cheap ream of copy paper. And um, that's arriving today by yet a different courier. I've got I've got Hermes DPD Royal Mail. The only one I haven't got is fucking Yodel. Oh, it's a bit of a bummer that I've got one that's going to be in on his own, but hopefully I can get Jenny to send me some more of those. I need to have a word with her a bit later. So yeah, they fit. It's tight, but do you know what? That's not too much of a of a worry. So I think along here. I might put my drawing pens or should I put them under here? <sighs> Let's have a look. I like to put them in order of size. So I've got 0 0.5, at 0 0.05, and that's a uniball, and then my extra small Faber Castell. Yeah, the only bugbear with that is I can't see what pen is what see it's like things like like my bone folders and that well they can go in you know they can go in pockets like this and my pen of the day Just stick that in there. so is this gonna be big enough <laughs> well for now it probably will be but um Right, these are the Tombow pens I've got out at the moment. I'm not sure what order to put these in. Whether to put them in number order, and I've got quite a few, or whether to put them... Oh, I've got my K-Creates pens as well. Shit. Or whether to put them in colour order. I've got all my K-Creates pens in there. And then I've got all of these. So will it shut that packed because if it doesn't I might as well stop here wow it does with no issues whatsoever <laughs> that is quite packed and that's the front that's packed not the tombow section okay so let's keep going Will it do up? <laughs> yeah. Oh dear, no trouble at all. I just gotta get the zip up over the pens, that's all. Oh, you can't see that, sorry. I'm in danger of breaking a nail, but. <laughs> wow, that is. that holds a lot. those in the front pocket I think. I was wondering if I could get my Kelly Creates pens in there. Let's take those out. I've got the majority of my pens in here. As I thought I can't get the Statler lot in here as well. I just don't have the room. I wish I could get my watercolour, my water brush pens in here but I can't. I can get it all shut and I can't get my fountain pens in here either. There's no room for them, which is a bit of a shame. So my fountain pens are going to continue to live in the little pencil case on my desk, which is a shame because I would like them to have fitted in here. The thing is though, where do I put this? I need a hook. Oh, do you know what? I saw some magnetic hooks this morning and I didn't buy them. I need a hook so I can hang it off of my uh, 
brass cog. It's still quite a big pencil case. And I also haven't got things like um, that all fits in there which is quite cool I also don't have things like my tape runner I've got a tape runner a correction pen a syringe for filling up my fountain pens that can live in with my fountain pens so I've got a few items that I can't fit in I've got invisible tape tape runner correction pen and my craft knife and I just don't think they will go in here because like, this is just, it's so tight now because I filled it up. I mean, I could possibly get them in, but then I would have trouble finding them to get them out because I can only just get my hand in there. You know? And then it doesn't want to do up so yeah that's a no for those items and it is hard to get hold of everything to get it out again so i don't like the handle i'll take that off in a minute i don't know i'll see if this works i don't know whether the ink draw pens will stay in here because i use the ink draw every day and i think having to open this to get it all out get them all out might be a bit of a pain in the ass but it does mean that I can take my Delphonics case out so it's like I've also got a protractor and a couple of other little bits but I can find other homes for that so that gives me room in my Rascog because I've taken two pencil cases out of it now I could in theory put this in there I would I would prefer this if it had a handle more like that than this floppy handle which I am going to take off because it is actually winding the hell out of me so yeah I would rather that had a handle like that because it would be easier to pick it up out of my trolley um, I will have to reorganise my trolley so that it fits. But I think that's just a case of moving a couple of bits. Because I want it to lie that way so that my tombos are horizontal rather than standing upright. But it's it should be quite easy. My trolley is a bit of a mess at the moment. <laughs> um so I've also got things like possible but I suppose all the loose stuff can stay in my Delphonics case keep my rulers out of the way because they could slot in there quite nicely and they shouldn't get broken this this ruler this tea ruler is actually a pain in the ass so let's do a little bit of reorganization So yes, I can fit it in my Rascog. That's not too much of a bother. I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not 100% sure on it. It's a nice case, but do I want to go through the hassle of getting it out every time I want to get to my ink joy pens? Probably not. The ink joy pens aren't going to stay in here, I don't think. Because that would be a pain in the ass it would be a pain in the ass to have to open this every time I want to get to them but then I only really use the black one so if I take the black one out because that is the one that I use the most and my day pen mm. do you know what I'm going to use it for a bit and then I will come back and let you know how I got on with it. Um, whether I'm still using it or not in about a month or so. So, yeah. 
we'll see we'll see but yeah I, that is the one that is one thing i don't like that handle i would wish that it had a proper like carry handle it looks big compared to what i had in there before um i'm just trying to sort of get a few things to fit now i'm gonna leave that there <laughs> um yeah my, my trolley sits next to my so here it is in my trolley hang on let's bring you around so you can see it a bit better and um find my mouse so that i can actually make the screen bigger right so this is my trolley yeah that is the box that holds my current in use tarot and oracle cards and my um statler pens like i said that that just fits in there so perfectly that i just don't want to take it out um in here i've got some that's not supposed to be, some um bits that need to go in an ephemera folder that is my sprocket that is my thermostat for the whole house that's my glue which i've sort of stuck in the ephemera box and then i put the pencil case here it doesn't sit 100 percent as not i mean it looks great i mean look at the little caddies but um maybe i could put it oh that way my water bottle's just fallen over stand up sorry i know i'm wobbling it's because i'm holding just keep that in mind. maybe i could put it in that way and then when i just need a pen maybe i can just like ease it open yeah but that's the thing because there's no handle it requires two hands to get it out so yeah and then i've still got to think of what i'm going to do with the other items that were in the delphonics case I shall have to see but that's how it sits at the moment so yeah <laughs> I'll just put you back up there yeah, that's a good shot on my desk isn't it there you go right um yeah so anyway that's that's what I got in it I got in a set of what was it 14 odd ink glue pens I'll just take you through it one last time better if i could zoom out a little bit wouldn't it hang on and i will just figure out how to do that so i've got all my ink joys my kelly creates my papermate flares my drawing pens my pit artist pens a couple of regular pens there then in this second section i've got all my tombow jewel brush pens now i've opened it and they are boom they are bulging so if i moved that to two pens per elastic i would run out of space so for my tombos i would need um one of just one of these just for my tombos that's a bit of pain isn't it yes that is a little bit of a pain but you know i'm sure i can uh, uh i'm sure i can do that nice to have my tombos all in one where i can see them as well it, when they're all jumbled up like they were in that other case it was hard to find the color that i wanted at least this way i can see what i'm doing yeah okay right i'm gonna leave that there thank you so so much for joining me please feel free to give this video a thumbs up um, if you've got any comments, suggestions, or, you know, any ideas, please feel free to leave them down below. If you click the book down here in the corner, you'll be subscribed. And if you hit the bell that then appears down below that, you'll be notified when I upload new content. Thank you so, so much for joining me today. Take these guys.